Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at an example that shows us how to find quartiles, and also we're going to look at a quantity called the interquartile range. The interquartile range is actually another measure of spread or measure of variation, and so we'll look at that in this video as well. So here's our setup. One year ago, Sally began working at a bookstore. Her manager asked her to keep a record of the number of books she sold each month. The following data set is a list of her sales for the last 12 months. So we have 12 data values here. Notice they are in order already. In order to find quartiles, your data needs to be in order. So if you encounter a data set that is not, go ahead and start by putting it in order. All right, so we want to find each quartile and the interquartile range for this data. To start, we're actually going to start by finding Q2, which we know is our median. So median we know is in the middle. If I have 12 values here, then I know that half of that is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These two values are my middle two numbers. So I need to take their average to find the median, Q2. So the average of 24 and 28 will be 26. So my median, or Q2, is 26. Now to find my other quartiles, my Q1, which represents the bottom 25% of my data, and my Q3, which represents the top 25% of my data, I'm going to repeat the same procedure on the bottom half for Q1 and on the top half for Q2. So repeating my procedure on the bottom half, in the bottom half I have one, two, three, four, five, six values. So half of that, will be three. So counting one, two, three values, 15 and 19 will represent my two central values in the bottom half. Since there are two of them, I need to take their average to find Q1. So the average of 15 and 19 will be 17. So Q1, or quartile one, is 17. Also repeating that for the top part of my data to get Q3 or Q75, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values. So half of that is 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to take 37 and 47. Since there are two of them, I need to take their average. Q3 will be the average of 37 and 47, which is 42. All right, so now that I've got my quartiles, let's remember what that tells us. That means that 25% of my data falls between 1 and 17. The next 25% of my data falls between 17 and my median of 26. The third 25% of my data falls between my median and my Q3 of 42, and the top 25% of my data falls between Q3 and my max value of 57. All right, so we have found each quartile. Now for this value of interquartile range. So interquartile range or IQR for short, is calculated by taking the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile, or Q3 minus Q1. For Sally's sales data, that will be 42 minus 17, or 25. So Sally's book data interquartile range is 25. The middle 50% of the data falls in that, that from 17 to 42. It has a 25 
book span in this case. All right, guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.